everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Field. Today we're going to look at average listing room levels. I go into a lot of rooms. I go into a lot of rooms with dealers and, and people that uh, have listening systems. And the first thing that I noticed is that they always play the uh, music too loud for the amount of room treatment that they have in the room. What, you, what this does is this brings the room into play more. And of course, I'm hearing then more room sound than I'm hearing music. And I understand why they do that. They want more of the good things, but they need less of the room sound. So we have to be really careful about how we do that. Stereophile did a study a few years back and they found out that the average listening level in most of the rooms of the audio files that they surveyed was around 83 dB SPL. So a quick way to figure out what your average listening level in your room is just take your phone Get an app. There's plenty of apps available where you can measure the pressure in the room. And just do, do some samples. You know, listen to some music and take some readings and find out what your average listening level is and see how it compares to the 83 dB that Stereophile came up with. The big thing here is that the amount of treatment that you have in your room must match the level that you play at. And I see this a lot. I see a lot of people like to play it much higher levels than 83 and when you do that then we we aggravate and uh, magnify the low-end issues that are in the room. We also increase the reflections and the reverberation time so if you don't have enough middle and high frequency absorption and diffusion to deal with the reflections you're just exasperating the whole issue. The more you turn up the gain the more room sound and less music that you're getting so you have to be a little bit careful. So we want to keep our eye on the low frequency versus the reflection ratios that we're going to have in our room. We know that our low end bumps in most rooms, and especially in the rooms that, that I built and tested, the big issues are 30 to 50 cycles. Well, we know at 83, if let's just use this as our average level, and this is the graph and the bump at 83, at 84 to 85, we're going to have more energy that's not going to be working for us, against us. So we're going to increase this problem that we have from 30 to 50. We get up in the 90 range, and then it's going to increase even further. So if you look at graphic 3, I'm going to use 83 as a nice average listening level and realize that anything over 83 SPL in your room we have to really focus on the low end absorption and get that under control. Anything less than 83, then, then we can not have so much low end absorption. But I want you to understand that there's a correlation between how much energy you put in the room and what happens to the frequency response of the room. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up so I know that it had value to you. And please, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Alternatively, if there are other topics that you wish to discuss, discuss or see discussed in a video presentation, send me a, an email, info at acousticfields.com, and uh, we'll get them on our list and, and get them done for you. I release a new uh, video about every week, so stay tuned to our YouTube channel and keep uh, updated on our new videos.